welcome back so let me let's just go through uh, the using rest api uh, topic so let's talk about global parameter first so in the global parameters like which is available for all the routes and that uh, global parameters we can use to modify or f- to modify our responses so for example um, this is a fields uh, global parameter which we can use uh, to just get some of the required information so uh, so here we can um, we have all the information right including all the post related data but what if we don't need everything we only need few uh, few fields only so we can just simply let me just copy this um, go here and just make a change um, i made some mistake oh, okay i forgot to add a question mark very soon okay so now you can see or you can only have id link a title and the excerpt and the author author id okay all this information so this way we can save uh like the our we can reduce the payload uh the response data which will be very helpful in terms of performance as well because now it's only the overall size is 5.3 kb if i remove if i remove uh the fields global parameter you can see 126 kb so we only fetch the uh the required data only which is required uh, in particular request right so this is very helpful and uh, next uh, you can also like uh, you can also have um the meta keys also so you can you can simply add meta dot and and your meta key name and that information will be uh will be also available into the response if you if you only need some of the meta information only of the particular post right so this is very helpful um then embed so embed parameter is used uh, to embed some other information like initially uh let me just uh, uh, make a send request okay so here you can you can see there is an author and we only have an author id okay then featured media to featured image we have only featured in, uh, ID, uh, media id only right but like what is the author name or 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 the author archive url or the feature media url we don't have this and under under the under under the this underscore links uh property you can see all the information like for for author we have this M, uh, author link here so if we want to fetch the author information then we have to get this uh this url uh rest api url okay and then make it another request but using this uh, but using this embed uh, a global parameter we can uh, the we can ask rest api uh, that we also i also need uh, the M, uh, all the embeddable uh, information in the same response instead of having i if instead of i making the like another request okay so if i just passed here uh, here underscore embed and send a response so after the links uh, so after the links you can see this embedded uh, property key okay and here you can see author and then all the author related information right including the slug or the author archive page and everything right uh, and then on, again we have the feature media related so you can also have this feature media url and its image url and all the meta information about that okay so this way uh, and also wp term so we also have a terms and categories, right? Tags and everything. So here categories have only ID and there is no tag. So currently it's not, but we have category ID. What if like, we don't like, uh, we all, again, we have to fetch the category information from this term ID, but we using this embed uh, parameter, we can have that uh, term information as well here, all right? So that will be very helpful to, to get all the data so that's why embed uh, embed parameter can be used but also in the embed parameter uh, since 5.4 we can pass individual information which we only embed the post so this way we can reduce uh, the overall response size as well so only embeds uh, the data which we required right so that could be very helpful um then another parameter is a method so this method parameter is used to override our http method okay but generally 
I couldn't see any examples where like the use cases where I have used till date the method parameter, but if it's needed on some use cases, currently I couldn't think of any any use case where we we, we need to override the method, but yeah. But there are some like uh, like drawback as well, not a drawback, mean, uh, but it's a warning kind of, if we use a different method, then it may have a problem with the caching because sometimes we also cast uh, the REST API request, right? Especially the get get method request because um, to to have a, to be, to have a better performance, okay. And then envelope. So envelope uh, method is used to have all some you know headers related information into the response data only. Well, like for like uh, for example, let me just show you this. Uh, in the, let me just copy it and envelope and here add. Now you can see that all the data available into the body tag right and if i call up this then you can see a status then headers and in here we have this uh, information about to xwp total and total pages headers and link and what is the method allow method right instead of fetching uh, this required information from the here headers we can we can have this way using the envelope and this will be helpful if it's required because uh, maybe some servers or proxies do not support accessing the full response uh, data uh, so and maybe if you are unable to access the headers then maybe uh, using this envelope parameter we can embed or we can add uh, body uh, including the headers and uh, status code into the response itself so we can directly access it from the response right so for that this envelope parameter we can use um then jsonp so i think this uh, this uh, used to allow cross domain requests for the legacy browsers right but now like like most of the uh, modern browsers are support uh, cross origin resource sharing uh, headers so we can we can use that instead of the jsonp uh, but if it's required then we can use it so basically uh, you can you can ask for a JSONP and it, it will simply just, uh, you can just add a script tag for the JSONP and this uh, JSONP equal to receive data, which will be uh, like your JavaScript function in which all of the JSON data you will get for that request. And then you can you can do um, based on the like functionality, what whatever do we want to do with that data, either displaying or anything, okay? So yeah, so this all about the global parameters right i hope you find it very useful but i would still recommend that, that go through all these topics and uh, on other handbook pages uh, go through it uh, so you will learn more about i'm just giving a basic overview and some use cases okay um, then pagination we already seen the pagination so we can also paginate uh, pagination the data uh, so for example if you're displaying the most uh, like list of the posts uh, asynchronously in the front end and through the pagination then you can simply pass the page a uh, parameter okay and then you can send all the per page and then offset okay if it's uh, if, if you want to start fetching the po uh, post from the particular given offsets right so if i just uh, go here i will add page second okay um then it will give me a second page here and if you go to the header you can see xwp total 51 and total page is 6 so based on this header information you will uh, display the pagination into the front end right and uh, based on that also this total value you can calculate the number of pages and then based on that the uh, when the user click on a third or the fourth page then you can just change this page parameter and then get that particular page information right and also you can you can have per page to like by default it's a 10 if you want to only two post then maybe we can simply say per page equal to two and based on that it will be calculated so for example i am sending per page equal to two and by default it's a first page so now you can see that our total page is becoming 26 because we have 51 posts right and in the preview you can have only two posts here okay so this way you can have a pagination and this header is very helpful and you can also order the results by uh, by passing this and all these all these uh, arguments which we are seeing it's uh, arguments of the wp query class okay so w in the wp query class we passing the same uh, parameters like page uh, page then post per page and everything so um, these are the 
and order and order by all these are whatever the arguments supported in the WP query, uh, all these arguments will be supported by the REST API to for filter your filter the uh, post data. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.